Yun, ito tapos na. Sana magustuhan nyo. <laughs> Ano? Ba't hindi nila alam na anniversary oh, nila ngayon? Happy anniversary! Ha? Ngayon? Ngayon ba? Eight ba? <laughs> Dapat kahit baka matunaw sa kotse ko. Ayun, sa endless? At hindi. Ito yung March. Ito ba March? March is... Sorry, hindi talaga niya alam. Sorry. Nakuha mo ba yun? 2020. Yung feeling ngayon, pag naririnig kayo yung mga kanta na nire-record niya, parang napaka-nostalgic. Siyempre, fan. First album nila yun. Yan yung unang album na napakinggan ko sa nila. That was the last song on the album na Birth. It's called Two Things. Actually, hidden track siya. And then now, we're, um, we've recorded a newer version. And then, mas embellished na as compared to the, the original recording. They were very young when they made that album. So, it was sort of fun to see... All of those different things that they wanted to change now that they had looked back. And oh man, I, mean, I could have wished we could have recorded it like this, recorded it like that, you know. So I know Gab uh, had a lot, a lot of those lines that he kind of felt uh, strange about hearing himself again, you know, so he can kind of tweak some of those. <laughs> We can't really tell how they're gonna react to a certain thing that you put out. So, basa kami like we, the way that we work, like we just wanna do something that's fun also for us. Ano parang ano ako kana mga free ba? Glament ba glament? Sa pa? That's why we responded this way because from all the mga messages, na bakit wala yung birth or influence sa Spotify or sa iTunes. Instead of just putting the albums out, na available siya streaming, so we decided na let's add something to it. So like let's say with birth, let's re-record it. So rebirth. So ang imo ang tulo, wakas sa boy. Yeah, kasi boy, kasi boy siya, girl. I know you're scared to get hurt. I sorry. Scared, scared to get hurt. Yeah. yeah. And then once we put it out there, hopefully people will respond to it in a positive way, diba? Na older fans can appreciate then that these these albums are finally gonna be released again on streaming platforms. Because it it was never up there. Sobrang solid din ng breathing new life into the songs. Kasi yung nagbaba and forth din kami minsan dun sa mga old copies ng songs. So wala nga siya sa YouTube eh. <laughs> ano lang, mga pinasa lang na songs. Tapos malayo na talaga. Yun yung nilulook forward ko pag na-mix na siya. I'm, I'm just happy na natapos na rin siya. After all those long, long days of trying to be creative and doing all the engineering work for the pre-prod stuff. Diba back in the rabbit hole. So far so good. Can we blast it a little? Urban Dub has always been uh, songwriters for ourselves. And since we're really enjoying what we're doing now, and when this album comes out, I hope you guys will enjoy it too. Ouch. <laughs> Happy 23rd. <laughs> From Carlene, I got you some cookies. For sure, I expect niya is kasi matagal siyang inihintay kasi wala siya sa Spotify. I think inaabangan talaga siya ng mga fans, mga tibistas. I play in the game But the truth is it's driving me insane Perspective of a fan, right? Perspective of even Myself personally, de ba? Like mga favorite bands ko sometimes pag yung tinamaang ka ng trip na you wanna listen to their discography parang i ma marathon mo ba? Parang yun lang yung sound trip mo for like two weeks or a month. It would be nice to have that experience then for mga debista then na parang mapangingan nila yung first album until esoteric. Hello, hey boss. Ah yeah, okay, lalo ko yun. Boss, apple pa yawa. Ito talaga yung best album. Come here. 
the plan is we're releasing the re-recorded versions of Birth and they're calling it Rebirth. At the same time, we're also launching their YouTube channel. <laughs> That's Direct Pau. He's doing a documentary on, the, on our recording. <laughs> it's not about me. It's not about being old, sweetheart. You know, we're in an age now where everything is is digital. Everything's online. We want Urban to really be savvy and really transcend and and be part of this digital age. We really want to pack the year out with a lot of activities, not just with the guys, but for the fans, the people who grew up with them. You know, I think those are all the goals for this year. And of course, to take them out tours and shows. Yeah, just watch out for more stuff with Urban Dumb. Yay!